Welcome to ABC's Grab and Go On Demand webcast. Today's presentation will be covering Air System Layout. In this presentation, you'll be able to see the general air system layout of the Van Hool coaches. Here's our basic air system layout comprised of air compressor, air dryer, governors, reservoir tanks, check valves, pressure protection valves, and fill couplings. Let's start by going over the components that make up our air system. We'll begin with the air compressor. The air compressor that we use is mounted on the engine, is gear driven, lubricated with oil, and we use the engine coolant to remove the heat which is developed with the compressed air. After the compressed air leaves the compressor, it will enter into a damper tank, or I refer to it as a ping tank. It's used to remove the compression noise from inside the coach. After that point, we'll follow it down to the air dryer. The air dryer is necessary to remove any moisture or oil particles that might be trapped into the system. The air dryer contains a Deskin cartridge which helps trap moisture and oil to be later purged out the bottom. After the air leaves the dryer, it will enter into a purge tank which is used to help purge the oil and impurities from the dryer at the point of governor cutout. We'll fill up the wet tank which is our last opportunity to capture any other moisture before it enters into the brake tanks. When the air leaves the wet tank, it also passes through a safety valve. The safety valve's responsibility is to prevent any overpressurization of the system. It also feeds down the line to each one of the brake tanks. We have one for the front axle, drive axle, and trailing axle for the service brakes. To enter in the brake tanks, it must pass through a check valve. We can now start filling our service brake tanks. We have one tank for the front axle, one for the drive axle, and one for the trailing axle. The air for these tanks must pass through a check valve that can protect the service brake portion of the braking system from the event of loss of air pressure throughout the rest of the coach. Once the air pressure in the service brake tanks has reached 70 psi, the pressure can then come by a pressure protection valve. If you have ZF Astronic application, it will go through a pressure protection valve, then a check valve for its tank. Then also we have a pressure protection valve for the emergency park brake release tank. That will supply the air pressure for the green knob just to the left of the driver's seat for emergency brake release applications. And then the auxiliary air tank can fill. Auxiliary air is anything not related to braking. Entrance door, driver's seat, heat control valves, fresh air flaps, AC belt tensioners are all driven off the auxiliary air tank. Once our governor sees a pressure of 130 psi, it can then send a signal to the air dryer and also to the air compressor. The signal to the air dryer is to allow the pressure to release from the dryer to help purge the system. The signal to the air compressor is used to stop the compressor from pumping air. As you can see, the air dryer is now able to purge. And while we're purging, there is no longer the need for the compressor to pump air, so he's being told to stop also. During the purging cycle, there's a check valve in the air dryer that prevents the system air pressure from dropping during the purging cycle. During this unloaded cycle, the air from the purge tank will have an opportunity to escape out the bottom of the air dryer and with it pull the impurities trapped inside. Also during this cycle, the piston may be going up and down on the air compressor, but no pressure is being built. 
As system pressure begins to lower, it will eventually get to the point where the governor will see necessary to exhaust the air that was on the signal line to the air dryer and compressor, and then once again start the cycle over again. For questions regarding this webcast, please contact ABC's Customer Care Technical Service Department at 877-427-7278. Listen for the prompts for coach technical support and select the appropriate option. Support is available at this number 24-7. A friendly reminder, ABC's Customer Care Department also offers technical service support 24-7, 365 days of the year. Contact us at 877-427-7278. Listen for the prompts for coach technical support and select the appropriate option. Support is available at this number 24-7.